everyone. I'm Molly from IBTEL, and this is my CAT final presentation. And as you know, CAT stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service. In my whole CAT journey, I think my greatest challenge is the product of activity because I'm not really good at sport, but I try to like combine uh, activity with others like uh, um, doing activity with service together. And second, I think the ethic of choices and action learning outcomes is also my challenge in to achieve because that requires a lot of thinking that what you are doing right now and in the planning stage, you might still have to think about it. And in my class journey, I think I've learned to uh, learn from my, um, any insights into my abilities that I've learned and while engaging like different kind of activities. And I think um, by doing CAS, I'm able to like try a variety of that step off of my comfort zone that try different activities that I've never tried before. And also I'm able to recognize my like my strengths, what I'm good at and what my weak weaknesses is. And uh, most important of all, I think time management is really important in the class because, and for suggestion of time management, I think setting like realistic goals and achievable goals is really important because um, you don't want to do something that you cannot finish. And also, I think creating a schedule and prioritizing your task is also important. Like, what I have done, do, done is that I try to do my class activity in, on, <coughs> on weekends, and I study on weekdays so that I can balance, thing, balance my time better. And for the most memorable cast project for me, I think, is the, that I volunteering in a kindergarten. I go with I went with Hannah, and like we teach the kindergarten students how to take care of their eyes and <coughs> teach them how to <coughs> take care of their teeth, and we t taught them some simple English vocabularies and do some activities and games. I think this project is the most memorable for me because it's that we have to handle with uh, many kids and these kids are in different ages and some of them cannot really understand what we are talking about and sometimes they will scream even though there are teachers there, but I think there were still a little bit of problem in dealing with these children. But I think we done this project quite successful because um, I think these kids have really learned like what we have talked to them. And for the abilities and skills, I think I have learned communication skills and collaboration skills because whether in individual activities or like in team projects, that you will definitely need like communication skills. You have to, um, you may meet new people and you need to like make people want express yourself and makes other people to know about you, so you can collaborate better. And I think CAS is a great way to know about uh, the global issue, especially for the service part, like volunteering. 
because like I have volunteer in the hospital and I think this is a great way to meet new people like from different ages and sometimes they will talk about you and share about their stories to you and sometimes you will notice what's their challenges and what do what kind of problem they have and I think it's a great way to um, interact with different communities and know about the society better. Um, for the seven learning outcomes, I think the easiest to achieve is that the strengths and growth part because but whenever you engage in an activity, you will definitely learn something from the, from the experience. And for the most difficult to achieve, I think, is the ethics of choice and actions. Like I will, all I have mentioned before, I think that you have to, to really think what, um, about what you are doing right now and the ethics of your activity. And uh, the reflection is um, um, important because that while you reflect about your whole project, and you will learn more about your learn more from your experience and I think you can also identify your improvement just like learn from mistakes and when you do something similar next time you might know what kind of things you could improve. And Lastly, for some advice for someone who is starting their class, I think uh, be open-minded and try to step out your comfort zone, try to uh, explore different kind of activities. Also, remember to record your whole process of your class and maybe write a short reflection after every time you have done your class. So that will be easier for the final reflection of your project. Did anyone have a question?